Number 64. In open heart surgery, a much smaller amount of energy will defibrillate the heart. Letter A. What voltage is applied to the 8 microfarad capacitor of a heart defibrillator that stores 40 joules of energy? All right, so they're asking us for voltage. So V is equal to question. They're giving us the capacitance, right? It's going to be 8 microfarads. How do I know that's capacitance? Well, because I know the units of capacitance. It's farad. Okay, you got to know the units, right, and what they correlate with. So the capacitance capital C will be equal to 8 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. I convert that already, right? I don't, you know, I, it, hopefully at this point, a stage in the game, the conversions are very quick. If I know i got to get to farad and I'm starting with micro, I just multiply the value whatever I had. 8, if this were 0.16, that would have been fine too. It would have been 0.16 times 10 to the minus 6. All right? And then um, we know that the energy that's stored there, E, is going to be equal to 40 joules. All right, so what's a, what's a formula that relates these three together? The formula is, dun, 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 the energy of the capacitor will be equal to the capacitance multiplied by the voltage squared all divided by 2. And what do we need to solve for? We need to solve for voltage, right? So I'm going to do that algebraically first. Watch. Remember a little cross multiplication trick, bring that out of the denominator on the right, up into the numerator on the left. You might not say, well, that's not in the numerator. Well, remember, I can always put everything like this over one. So bring the two on up into the numerator, bring the C on down into the denominator, get rid of the one because it's just a placeholder. So now you realize that you got this expression, right? Basically two times the energy stored of the capacitor divided then by the capacitance. And then I realized that it's voltage squared. We don't want the voltage squared. We want the voltage. So square root both sides and voila. Your formula here is going to be the square root of two times the energy stored in the capacitor all divided by the capacitance. Isn't that so nice? Instead of doing all the crazy like, you know, multiplication, you know, I mean, I'm doing it, but it's, it's, it's a lot easier to detect those patterns here. So the energy here is going to be 40 joules, then all divided by the capacitance, which is eight times 10 to the minus six. And let's see what we get. So square root of 2 times 40 divided then by 8 times 10 to the minus 6. And we get a value of about 3.16. 3.16 times 10 to the third volts. All right, so about 3,000 volts. Cool. And then that is for letter, what was that, A? All right, letter B. So what do we get? <clears throat> Find the amount of stored charge. So by the way, take a look at number 63. It's very similar. All right. So if you want a little more practice, a problem like this, check out number 63. So I need to find Q. All right. And now I know the voltage. I know the energy. I know the capacitance. I got to think of a formula that relates some of these variables together. And we know one of them, right? We know that the capacitance will be equal to the charge divided by the voltage, right? The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor or capacitor of some sort. Okay, the defibrillator is like a parallel plate. There's two paddles, okay? Equals then the ch charge that is stored on that capacitor divided then by the voltage applied across both plates or AKA across both paddles in this problem. So solve that bad boy for Q, right? All I gotta literally do is just bring the V out of the denominator and it's across multiplication. So it's Q is equal to C times V. And then voila. So this is eight times 10 to the minus Sixth, multiplied by then the voltage, which we just found, which is 3.16 times 10 to the third. I'm going to use the exact value when I do the calculation. So this is 8 times 10 to the minus 6, multiplied by 3. Well, I just told you I was going to use the exact value, right? And let's plug that in. And here we go. We get a charge value of about 0 0.0253. And that's in coulombs. Coulombs, all right? If you need to do any conversions, millicoulombs, you know, picocoulombs, I go for it, all right? But that's the value. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Take care.